we're going to walk you through opening your package from Northland Violins, the rental instrument that comes in the mail. So you're going to get a box, you're going to cut the sides of the tape just on the sides here and then split down the middle so you can reuse the box. So basically three cuts and I'm inside the box. Inside will be bubble wrap, so instead of the packing peanuts, so it won't make such a mess, but you need to hold on to everything. So keep all the bubble wrap, keep the box, in case you need to ship back for any repairs. So that way it's just a quick drop it back in, ship it out, we fix it and send it back. So all the bubble wrap in here, I'm gonna take out, and inside you've got your music stand, that's in its own box. You'll have your shoulder rest and the rosin will be inside the case. So let's go ahead and take this down. This is just a standard music stand. You don't need to save this box. And the stand comes in a bag, so that's self-explanatory. And then the shoulder rest, you won't need to save this box either. This shoulder rest will actually fit into your case so you can discard the box and just use the rest. Now when using a shoulder rest what you're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a fiddle you're gonna take your violin no matter what size it is and you're going to complete the circle so this is called the lower bout and you want to make this create sort of an oval shape. You don't want this, where it's mimicking the line uh, of the lower bow. So you'll just place the feet on, and you'll put the feet on here, and just slide it into position. So it creates this sort of oval, and that's your shoulder rest is on. You can adjust the heights by spinning the feet, higher or lower, and uh, that's that. That's as simple as that. The rubber on these is really good so it doesn't tear up the edges, okay? So that's your shoulder rest. This is an Everest shoulder rest. Then the violin itself. You've got a luggage tag, and with the luggage tag, you'll need to take it off the instrument first so you can open this, fill out your information, then close it up, put it back on the instrument. So it's got our website on here too at the bottom. You can email us with any questions or concerns or anything you need to reach us about. That's the best way to contact us is through our email, which we'll be checking every day. These are really good quality cases. The zippers, and it has a single buckle in the middle, which is nice to have. So you open your case. This is a, the protective carpet over the top. You should always, don't lose this. It's nice to have it over the instrument. It protects any of the bow if you don't connect the bow properly from hitting the top of the instrument. So, this is an important piece to always keep inside the case. Always just try not to force the zippers open. The teeth on these are actually quite good, so you they move quite freely. It'll really save the life of the case if you just slowly do the zippers instead of forcing them around the edges. The buckle, self-explanatory, the handle, it's got shoulder straps too, and we'll get into that in a second. But when you open the case, you'll find your rosin up in the front pouch here. Here's the rosin. You'll have a rosin sitting in here. Sometimes you can fit more than uh, a rosin in there. You might be able to fit a cleaning cloth, some chalk for the pegs and stuff like that. But there's a little bit of room in here to keep stuff. But the main thing is to be able to keep your shoulder rest inside the case, which is really nice. So these fit right in like so. So you take the shoulder rest and you adjust the feet so it can just drop right in here. It really helps to be able to keep this inside the case with, so you don't lose it. It'll sit flush and then you can just close the case. So that, that's a nice feature to have. The instrument actually sits on a small amounts of foam, so it keeps it from touching the back of the case. We're gonna be shipping the instruments with the bridge and post up, 
So you shouldn't have to do anything at all except for take the instrument out and tune it. Thank you.